acquired the uh, Castle Knoll, which, you know, at the time they acquired it, it was still being run by the Pythian organization. Mm -hmm. And it included 98 uh, nursing home beds. So for that reason, we have a 98 bed skilled nursing mm -hmm. facility here in our campus. And in addition to that, we have 26 beds of assisted living currently. So our capacity right now is 124. And we are building next door capacity for at least 58 uh, accommodations for at least 58 more residents. And what's the size of that project in terms of investment? And how many employees do you have here? Um, right now, uh, this is about an $8 million property. Right. And we have about 125 employees and another uh, 15 therapy employees. There's a subsidiary of our company that the therapists work for. Mm -hmm. So all told, there are about um, 140 Trilogy employees here in this campus. Boy, next door, I would say, let's see, this building is about 55,000 square feet, and I would be guessing, but I think next door we're probably adding another 50,000 square feet. So we're nearly doubling our our uh, square footage here. Is the investment about the same then, about $8 million or $7 million? Uh, I, that, I would be guessing, but I would say yes, it's probably another $8 million property. Mm -hmm. um, Next door is a we're building an additional assisted living. It'll be licensed as an assisted living. Uh, you, you, now that's different than a skilled nursing facility. In, in Ohio, you can build an assisted living anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we don't need a license. We, we don't need to buy a license to build that with. So we're adding a 30-bed assisted living next door, which will be known as the Legacy at Forest Glen. And it is designed to serve people with uh, Alzheimer's disease and related memory impairments. And then around the perimeter of that building, there are going to be 28 uh, independent living villas, is what we call them, independent living villas. And essentially, they're condominiums. Uh, I believe they're about 1,100 square feet, and uh, they include one car garage. So what that does is it adds, uh, it adds two more dimensions to what we have here, which is known in the industry as a continuum of care. So in other words, uh, when, when what we're building next door is finished, we'll have sort of six distinct uh, service lines or service offerings, and that will be here in the current campus, we have an assisted living, we have a transitional care unit, uh, transitional care suites, which are, um, that provide transition suggests you know a bridge between the hospital and home. If you've had a hip replacement or you've had a knee replacement, uh, you uh, you know most of our residents on the transitional care unit are spending a uh, a 30 to 60 day period of time here to recuperate before they go home. And then we have uh, the largest part portion of this campus is the health center, um, and it's 56 beds uh, for people needing long term care. And then way back in the back of the current building, the building we're in right now, there's a 26-bed unit uh, of skilled memory care. So next door, we would be offering independent living condominiums and uh, a 30-bed assisted living. Uh, the, the assisted living we're building next door would differ from the assisted living that we currently have in that uh, it is designed specifically for individuals with memory impairment. Alzheimer's. When is that going to open up next door? When is we that going to are begin? we're kind of aiming for mid October at this point of this year. Yes. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you.